Hey guys, how are you doing today? Today I'm going to show you how to make the most amazing plantain frittata ever. Now, this plantain frittata is special because it has everything good in it and it is so easy to make. In fact, if you can boil water, then you can make this. All the ingredients that I'll be using today will be listed in the description box. So make sure you check it out so you can recreate yours, okay? Now, the first thing we're going to do is to chop our vegetables, all right? I'm going to be dicing mine. But of course, before you chop any vegetables, make sure you rinse them thoroughly, all right? So I'm just going to give them, um, I'm going to dice them. You can cut them into whatever shapes you like, but I like to dice mine this way so everything looks nice and appetizing, okay? So once you're done cutting your vegetables, set it aside because we will be using it a little later. The next thing to do is to cut your plantains. Make sure you give your plantains a good rinse before peeling them, all right? And um, guys, if you're yet to subscribe to my channel, this would be a perfect time to do so. So please hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so each time I upload a new video, you'll be instantly notified, all right? And once you have subscribed, just type done in the comment section, okay? Thank you. So I'm going to dice my plantains. If you notice, I'm not dicing them too big, neither am I dicing them too small. Somewhere in between small and big, all right? So this is how I like to cut my plantains for my frittata. Some people don't dice them, they just prefer to cut them round, okay? But this is how I like to treat mine, okay? So once I'm done dicing my plantains, I'm going to salt them and then move on to the next step. I like to salt my plantains, but some people don't like to salt theirs and that's totally fine. Okay, so if you like to salt yours, just do it very lightly because we're going to be seasoning our other ingredients. So just a little salt will do, all right? Great. At this point, add some vegetable oil to your pan. All right, we're going to be frying our plantains. So add enough oil and then allow your oil get hot before adding in your plantains. Not too hot. So that your plantains don't burn immediately you add them okay but hot enough now you're going to fry your plantains till they turn nice and golden brown so don't step away too far from your stove so it doesn't burn all right once you're done you put the plantains on a kitchen napkin or kitchen towel what it does is to um, absorb excess oil from the plantain so this is one step that I always like to do all right so just put it on the kitchen towel it will absorb the oil and then we'll move on to the next step for our plantain frittata but everything is coming out very nicely now that we're done frying our plantains we're going to move on to the next step which is to um, crack our eggs if you've been following me on this channel then you know I like to do this step once I'm cracking a lot of eggs, more than one of course, I like to do them separately. This will prevent me from cracking any bad eggs straight into a full bowl of eggs. Do you get what I mean? So I like to break it separately. Then when I see that it is good, I transfer it to the remaining bowl of eggs, just like I'm doing. In this way, you're gonna avoid premium tears all the time. So guys, 
don't be tempted to just keep cracking eggs or you know everything into one bowl just don't so once you're done you're going to add some salt to the eggs um salt it lightly of course and then give it a good whisk all right so beat it till everything is well um beaten and then you set it aside well we'll move on to the next step of our delicious plantain frittata in a clean pan add some cooking oil and allow this oil heat up for a few seconds and then add in your onions you're going to cook your onions for about 60 to 90 seconds till it is nice and fragrant please don't step away too far from your stove so it does not burn okay once you're um, satisfied with um, your onions you're going to add in the rest of your chopped vegetables I've added in my tomatoes, my red and green bell peppers. Okay, just adding everything. Now, the good thing about this recipe that is very forgiving, whatever you're using, you know, it's, it's fine. Add it. I'm also adding in my scotch bonnet peppers and then I'm gonna give everything a good mix and cook this for about six minutes before I season it with um, the seasoning of my choice. After the allotted time has passed, you're going to season this. I don't like to use a lot of seasoning for this meal because I like all the natural ingredients to um, come shining through um, and don't over season. It's always best to season little at a time. You can always adjust as, it, as you go along. Remember to check the description box for a list of the ingredients that I have used, including the seasonings that I've added, okay? Now add in your sausages or your chicken frankfurters, whatever it is that you're using. Guys, I told you this plantain frittata was delicious, special because it had everything good in it. Every bite you get is filled with so much goodness. Yep, I wasn't joking. So cook this for another five minutes and then allow it cool. Allow it to cool first, guys, before you add it into your egg mix, okay? So just go ahead and add everything into the egg that we whisked or we beat earlier. Okay, you're also going to be adding in your plantain at this time everything just basically goes in so take some of those lovely golden brown plantains you have fried and go ahead and then add them into your egg mixture all right so once you've done this take a fork and give this a good mix to combine it thoroughly okay now guys like i told you earlier plant plantain frittata is so delicious it is easy to make and it is so forgiving if you have any other vegetables you'd like to add, feel free, any at all. It's a good way to use leftover vegetables from your fridge. It's a perfect way, okay? So just add it into your pan. I'm using the pan that I used to fry the vegetables earlier. I didn't rinse it, so it was well greased. It still had some oil in it. If you're using a different pan, please be sure to grease it lightly before you add in the egg and plantain mix, okay? Now I'm adding some plantains to just cover the top okay so just to make it look nice all right so you can choose to do this or you can leave it as it is but i like to do this so it looks nice i'm also using some green pe um, spring onions i'm sprinkling some spring onions for flavor as well as for color okay so once i'm done with this stage i'm going to put it on my stove reduce your heat guys cover it and allow it to cook till it's done it usually takes me about 20 minutes for it to get done okay so guys this is it your plantain frittata is red ready easy peasy now if you've enjoyed this recipe be sure to give me a thumbs up and share this video with your friends and your family okay thank you so much for watching and till i see you in some other recipe videos take care and keep eating good food bye, -bye.